G'day guys! Today we're going to learn about render kernels and why it matters to you. So, um, Octane's render kernels, Octane has three render kernels, direct light, path tracing, and PMC. Now, for all the people that don't know, I'll give you a quick rundown. Unbiased rendering is pretty much this mathematical equation. And if you, um, so if you, um, it doesn't take a wizard, I mean, to know the equation, theoretically, not, like, 100% mathematically, I mean, I get DCs in math, and even I get this. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So it's pretty much this line, this equation is then translated into code. And this can be in Java, C, C++, um, or WebGL, I think I saw a demo on that. Um, and then that code is then has all these uh, acceleration structures and everything like KD tree and um, GPU and CUDA. And um, see, but the thing is, right, each, um, it's written to code, but each one has a different sort of, each algorithm is the same, but is based upon this. It's just that how well it converges better and everything. So, here are some three algorithms, direct light, path tracing, and PMC. Now, how do you know which ones to use in certain scenes and everything, and which one sh um, benefits from the other? So, here it is. So, direct lighting, or direct light. Direct lighting is Octane's default set render kernel. It is very biased based kernel that doesn't have brute force as path tracing in PMC. The render kernel is good for navigating around the scene than in path tracing or PMC. And it's also good for work in progress renders. So let's just say you have a work in progress and you want to render it out to show people to get some CCs. Constructive criticism for the people that don't know. Um, <laughs> so it's good for posting work in progress renders um, for modeling and texturing. Um, and yeah, it isn't really the ideal kernel for final pieces if you're working with um, with clients. Um, yeah, it's not really good since it doesn't have the it doesn't calculate light as light as better than path tracing in PMC. Um, you can you can fake a path tracing with direct lighting, but I just don't find the points of that since you have path tracing for you, but you can fake it with certain parameters and some photoshopping I heard. Alright, so that's direct lighting for you. So direct lighting, quick run out, direct lighting is for navigation, navigating around the scene, just working on your scene for modeling, not modeling, for texturing and setting up your atmosphere and everything and it's good for work in progress renders. Now path tracing. Path tracing is a heavy brute force algorithm that measures all sorts of light. It measures at the same accuracy of real life, real life like situations or scenarios. It is very good for exterior nature scenes and for yeah exterior nature scenes environments or indoor scenes. Now bear in mind the indoor scenes. Um, I mean it is good for indoor scenes, but if it has mass amounts of reflecting services like sinks or uh, glass tables or sculptures or anything that has a glossy like a heavy glossy material on it it will produce uh, fireflies which is stated here path tracing is an algorithm that produces is well it doesn't I can't read really, I can't word that wrong it doesn't produce a lot of it doesn't purposely produce white dots but it's an algorithm that unfortunately has uh, an effect called fireflies, it's a white dots, and it's um, pretty much due to uh, mesh based lighting or reflecting materials, glossy specular materials. It also doesn't calculate caustics that well. I mean, it can, I mean, I've seen some pretty good caustics, but um, it doesn't really look as well, as good as real life situations. Um, PMC, PMC is path tracing plus MLT, except MLT can be implemented on the GPU within Octane's code structure, uh, which I've heard, apparently they had some problems with CUDA or some shit like that, 
Um, so it's sort of descendant of MLT. Um, for the people that MLT is pretty much, MLT is pretty much path tracing but without white dots. However, since it's doing a lot more calculations, it will take longer. It handles interior shots um, that are only lit up by mesh based lighting sources. It also calculates caustics a lot more better. And when I mean a lot more better, I mean a shit long better. It's just so much more better. Now, um, with uh, some. Alright, so that's the theory out the way. Let's get some pictures in. Here are some pictures that I rendered. Alright, so here is some. Here's the uh, scene from the atmosphere tutorial. Um, I'm starting with a simple scene, then I'm going to get a very complicated scene that I'm working on at the moment. So this is direct lighting. Uh, as you can see, um, there's no color blending, any uh, caustics, um, reflecting light bounces. Uh, very, very basic. Very basic. Um, this is path tracing. As you can see, there's some color blending going on. We've got um, some fireflies here. There's some more color blending. Uh, what else is different? Uh, also, light. The bounces are going inside the sh uh, going inside the geometry. Over here, there's not many, but over here, there's a lot. Okay. Um, and also, I don't know if you can see here, but there's also white dots here. This is from the uh, reflecting light. It's sort of like a very mild caustic, um, caustic uh, measurements, but it's not. It's not that good because it's path tracing. But um, path tracing is extremely good with diffuse materials. Big change. All right, so this is PMC. Now, as you can see, PMC in regards from path tracing is a lot more better. As you can see, it has not only color blending, but also the caustics given off by the sun. The sun hits the reflecting, hits the reflecting material and is bounced off here. And as you can see, it is a lot more better. And I don't know if you can see. Oh shit! What happens? As you can see here, so I'm just very quickly going through it. So yeah, it definitely picks up the caustics a lot more better. So now I'm going to go through the uh, much more complicated thing. Okay, so. Uh, so this is a s my much more, um, uh, how can I say this, uh, complicated scene. This is in path tracing, no, not path, this is in direct lighting with the uh, lamp, there's a mesh uh, lamp model in there, light model, and that is the only light source in the uh, scene. So that is in direct lighting. This is in path tracing. As you can see, um, it con the amount, the light bounces across pretty much everything and pretty much covers or lights up the whole entire frame. However, um, as you can see, the light fall off here is very pixelated. I can tell there's going to be a lot of fireflies there in the next hour of rendering. Um, same here, the caustics on this glass isn't going to show up as well. And I did an 8K render on this, and the caustics on that are gonna show up. Ah, oh, the caustics are just beautiful on that. At 8K, I zoomed right in. Um, what else? And yeah, so that's path tracing. This is PMC. Now, uh, as you can see, there's a huge, huge difference um, in terms of the light fall off. Uh, so as you can see, it's not as pixelated, and even if it wasn't path tracing, it would. If path tracing was at least another 500, it would still make no difference whatsoever. So that's PMC. Have a nice look at it, and this is path tracing. Have a nice look at it, and then here it is repeatingly. 
PMC, path tracing, PMC, path tracing, and let's just quickly do that a lot of times. So there's a big difference there. So that is uh, direct lighting, path tracing, and PMC. I'll give you another general overview. Direct lighting is for good for navigation, work in progress renders, and faking path tracing if you don't have the time. However, I don't know how to fake path tracing because I just use path tracing. Path tracing is good for exterior and interior shots. However, in interior shots, there cannot be a lot of reflection, reflection materials or mesh-based lighting. That's solely based upon mesh-based lighting. If it is, then you're going to have a fun time in Photoshop or GIMP because it's going to be a lot of fireflies. Um, now, for PMC, PMC is pretty much good for um, pretty much everything. However, it is good and it's solely based for mesh-based lighting interiors and for caustics uh, and for glass materials. However, it, there's no much of a need for it in uh, nature environment scenes because, I mean, it's not just it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. I mean, you know, there's no... I mean, if you're just using... Of course, if it's just... If it's a night time with a lot of mesh areas, of course you're going to use it in nature shots. But if you're using the Sun Sky preset, you know, there's not much PMC is going to do except take much more longer and might look a, a little bit more prettier. But post-processing can pretty much, you know, make path racing on what a PMC render would look like. Anyway, I'm blubbling on and losing interest and probably confuse a lot of people. And this went for 12 minutes. Wow. Okay, so that is a rundown on the theory, on the theory behind direct lighting, path tracing, PMC.